When Shadows Dance, A Family's Guide to Navigating the Labyrinth of Addiction Addiction can feel like a monster that swallows whole families, leaving behind confusion, fear, and a desperate hunger for hope. You watch your loved one disappear into a fog of substance abuse, and the ground beneath your feet crumbles. But know this, brave soul, help exists and you are not alone. This guide is your torch, illuminating the path towards resources that can mend broken bonds and rewrite the narrative of your family. 1. Finding your tribe. The comfort of shared strength. Imagine a circle of worn armchairs, each cradling someone who understands your silent screams. Support groups are that haven where families grappling with addiction find solace in shared stories and unwavering empathy. Al-Anon, Naranon, and Families Anonymous are just a few examples offering peer support groups for every kind of struggle. Here, you'll discover you're not a lone warrior, you're part of a resilient tribe, your burdens lighter when shared. 2. The compass of therapy, guiding you through the storm. Sometimes the weight of addiction can feel like an anchor driving you down. Therapy becomes your lifeboat, providing professional guidance and a safe space to unpack the emotional turmoil. Therapists skilled in addiction recovery can equip you with coping mechanisms, communication strategies, and healthy boundaries. Whether you choose individual or family therapy, remember, seeking help is not a sign of weakness, it's a courageous step towards healing. 3. Tools for Illumination Education is your weapon. Understanding the enemy is half the battle. Resources like books, websites, and educational workshops arm you with knowledge about addiction. Websites like Hazelden and Betty Ford and the National Council on Alcoholism and Drug Dependence offer a wealth of information on different types of addiction, treatment options, and coping strategies. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand, the more empowered you become to navigate this challenging landscape. 4. Tending to your own garden, self-care is not selfish. While tending to your loved one's needs, don't neglect your own. Imagine yourself as a sturdy oak, providing shade and shelter, but if your roots are parched, the whole tree suffers. Self-care, whether it's a mindfulness practice, a walk in nature, or an evening with a good book, replenishes your emotional reserves. Remember, a healthy you is better equipped to help your loved one on their journey. 5. Remember, recovery is a journey, not a destination. There will be stumbles, detours, and days when hope feels like a flickering candle in the wind. But progress, even in inches, is still progress. Celebrate the small victories, the moments of clarity, the renewed trust. Addiction recovery is a marathon, not a sprint, and your unwavering support makes all the difference. 6. Building boundaries, protecting yourself with love, Love shouldn't feel like a cage trapping you in a cycle of pain. Setting healthy boundaries, even saying, no, is not betrayal. It's an act of self-preservation. Boundaries like refusing to enable drug use or prioritizing your own well-being are not walls. They're bridges to a healthier relationship built on respect and self-reliance. 7. Hope blossoms in unexpected places. Find your strength. When shadows dance around you, look for the slivers of light. It might be a glimmer of hope in your loved one's eyes, a kind word from a friend, or the quiet strength you discover within yourself. Remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and loved more than you know. Hold on to that light, nurture it, and watch it blossom into the fierce hope that guides you through the labyrinth. Frequently asked questions. 1. Where can I find support groups in my area? Many resources can help you locate support groups. Try websites like Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration Helpline or local community centers. You can also call helplines like Al-Anon Family Groups or Nar-Anon Family Groups for information on local meetings. 2. How can I choose the right therapist? Ask for recommendations from your doctor, friends, or support groups. Look for therapists specializing in addiction recovery and family therapy. Consider factors like cost, location, and your personal comfort level during consultations. 3. What are some good educational resources on addiction? Websites like Hazelden and Betty Ford, the National Institute on Drug Abuse, and the National Council on Alcoholism and Drug Dependence offer a wealth of information on different types of addiction, treatment options, and coping strategies. 4. How can I practice self-care while supporting my loved one? Identify activities that bring you joy and relaxation, whether it's exercise, spending time with loved ones, or pursuing hobbies. Schedule time for self-care and stick to your commitments like it's the most important appointment on your calendar.